Uh, now, guys, as I've mentioned, uh, it's our first episode. And if I'm being honest, I'm all about transparency. So before we continue, I want you all to learn the real me. And the real me has a lot of beefs, a lot of things that have been bothering me. And I have some things that I need to get off my chest. So it's time for a segment that we're calling Watch Your Back. First up, we're going to start with Pete Davidson. Sir, please tell us your ways. Look, Pete was engaged to Ariana Grande, and now he's dating V. Kim Kardashian, all while looking like he hasn't slept since he was born. You would think that if being funny was the criteria to get women to like you, I'd be the one dating Kim Kardashian. But maybe. I just need better writers. We'll blame it on them. Look, I will say, being labeled oddly attractive is almost as backhanded as backhanded compliments can get. It's literally saying, oh my god, this guy's so ugly, but I guess he's not that ugly. <laughs> but Ski has been getting too much heat recently. From me to you, Pete, and I know you're watching. Thanks for looking out for us mediocre men. Pete, please, watch your back, because Kanye might get to if you don't. Next we have Euphoria. I have never seen more penises per minute before in my life. <laughs> PPM, if you will. Truly, Sam Levinson, and I know you're watching too. Please spare us the agony. Look, female nudity, I can excuse. But males too? <laughs> Despicable. <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of people have been saying that Euphoria is not as accurate to the high school experience. And I have to agree with them. As somebody who graduated high school three years ago, I can personally tell you it was nothing like that. But that might just be because I was a loser in high school. But really, Euphoria is such a messy show, it makes me feel better about my life. I might be failing one or two classes, but at least I don't have intimate relations with the father of the boyfriend of my two best friends that were videotaped without me knowing. Things could be worse. Euphoria, clean up your act or watch your back. Next, we have Tyler Perry. 20 years later, and he's still making Medea movies. Look, honestly, at this point, as much as he dresses up as a black man, he better know how to make some damn chitlins. Tyler Perry owns the biggest production studio in the country and still has his actors wearing crazy ass wigs. Plus, it's been two decades and Mr. Brown's knees are still ashy as hell. Hopefully your next film is called Tyler Perry, Here's Some Lotion. So Medea, or Tyler Perry, you better watch your back, sir, or ma'am. Next we have the Cheesecake Factory. You'd think they have cheesecake there, but they have everything else on the damn menu. Burgers, lobster, fish, pasta, Tex-Mex, eggs rolls? Egg rolls are my favorite. Look, you can basically get everything there. It's just bougie enough where you can take a date and seem fancy. You can literally order chicken fingers there. Step your game up, bro. Cheesecake Factory, I'll take some more bread and, uh, oh yeah, watch your back. Next, we have Shamrock Shakes. Look, forget Women's History Month. It's Irish American Heritage Month, which means it's that time of year where McDonald's drops that delicious, thick, green goodness that people all around the world enjoy every single year. Mmm, creamy. Thanks for that, Johan. <laughs> if we're being honest, shamrock shakes are disgusting. Who decided that mint was the national flavor of St. Patrick's Day? Did the leprechauns approve? <laughs> I think not. And who wants a mint milkshake? Like, what do they think we're just gonna wake up one day and say, oh, I forgot to brush my teeth, and then just go buy a shamrock shake and that'll just fix the problem? Just for the ice cream machine to be broken? Now my breath stinks and my lactose intolerance is acting up. Mmm. Irish. <laughs> it tastes Irish? Okay. <laughs> Shamrock shakes, you better make watch your back. Next up, Wordle. What the hell is tacit? Well, actually, it's an adjective that means understood or implied without being stated. Lucky guess. Okay. Seriously. What are these words? I feel like ever since the New York Times brought Wordle, the words have gotten more and more ridiculous. Who knew five letter words could be so hard to guess? Like the word today, right? I got the first three letters on the first try, and I gotta be honest, I'm still stuck. Is it ri- Oh, I got it. First try of two. Word? Wordle. Is the word fired? Because that's what you're about to be, bitch. Wordle, watch your damn back. That was rough, man. <laughs> that was rough. Finally, crime. The original Law and Order has returned to TV for the first time since 2010, and fictional criminals are shaking in their boots. No one is safe, not even you. I'm not mad at this, though. I'm a die-hard Law and Order fan, but I feel like nowadays everything is getting a reboot. Fresh Prince of Bel-Air is a drama now. That 90s show is coming out soon. What they need to do is reboot Kitchen Nightmares and have Gordon Ramsay come to these damn dining halls. That's where the real crime is being committed. Law and order, watch your back. That's all for Watch Your Back. We've got more very late after the break.